荣获2015年皮博迪奖，由加拿大温哥华的李云祥执导的纪录片《活摘》， 2月3号晚间在加大洛杉矶分校播映。5 0分钟的纪录片让现场300多位观众了解目前仍然在中国发生的活体摘除良心犯器官的事实。《活摘》。记录了诺贝尔和平奖被提名人大卫·乔高和大卫·麦塔斯对在中国发生的活摘器官及交易进行的独立调查。I had no idea it was a state-sanctioned thing from China, so this just really blew my mind. The Chinese government has to be held accountable, and you know we need to start doing something about it. 纪录片中揭露，根据官方每年公布的手术量，调查员获得的证人证词。和对被非法抓捕的法轮功学员大面积的身体检查等证据，在中国每年至少有超过六万件的器官移植手术。If you consider the the amount of costs for lab tests in this scope, it would be tremendous. It would be tens of hundreds of thousands of dollars paid from detention camps, prisons, and this is just unheard of. It makes sense, like what they're saying there. The numbers make sense. 不过，因为中国的媒体被官方控制，也会自我审查，所以老百姓并不了解事实真相。It's it's my first time to know something about these fields, although I'm from China, but I've never heard of that before. So I was really shocked by that. 播映会结束后，不少观众纷纷现场签名联署，要求中共早日结束此暴行。纪录片也让施耐德先生回忆起父亲逃离纳粹大屠杀的经历。I signed the petition, but honestly, I haven't really completely processed this yet. I know that I'm going to have trouble sleeping tonight, so I think I'm going to have to do something about it. You know, what my dad went through is something that, you know, lives with me forever, and you know, I don't want to see things like that, you know, happening in the world. You know, so. I don't think I could just sit by and just let it happen without trying to at least get involved in some way. Research a little bit more about the movement, the、uh, political, and try to figure out a little bit more, and we'll probably yeah share with some friends about the situation. 新唐记者王子毅，洛杉矶采访报道。